spacecraft crash near Roswell, New Mexico in 1947. Well, a just published report from the U.S. Air Force says no. That report contradicts ufologists who believe that Roswell is a government conspiracy of the highest order. Well, now sightings has brought together former State Department official Carl Flock and world-renowned ufologist Stanton Friedman to debate their polar views so that you can judge for yourself. July 3rd, 1947, Roswell, New Mexico. The time and the place of the most significant UFO event in history. Mac Brazel and his daughter Dee find that something has crashed on their sheep ranch. But what crashed remains a mystery, fiercely debated for more than 50 years. Roswell has been investigated, dissected, and reconstructed in the press, in top secret military reports, and even in a television movie titled Roswell. July 8th, the official government version of the incident released to the press. The UFO was a weather balloon. For 50 years, the military has maintained that no further explanation is necessary, but significant questions remain. First, what were the size, shape, and overall dimensions of the craft? Second, what was the craft made out of? What materials were recovered? Third, were bodies collected at the site? And were those bodies human? And finally, is the government hiding the truth about the extraterrestrial origin of those bodies? Sightings has brought together two world-renowned Roswell experts to debate their opposing views on the Roswell incident. Stanton Friedman is a physicist who has developed nuclear rocket technology for the space program. He has lectured on UFO phenomena since 1967. Roswell is important because it set the tone for what the government did and knew. I mean, that was 1947. It's important because it's proof that we're part of a galactic neighborhood. Aliens are coming here. Carl Flock is a former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense and CIA intelligence officer. He agrees with Friedman that there was a crash and a cover-up, but does not believe the incident was the result of extraterrestrial visitation. Flock's recently published study of the incident is titled Roswell in Perspective. I was not convinced one way or the other about the extraterrestrial element or precisely what was involved. The only thing I was sure of, or, or reasonably sure of, was that the official explanation uh, of, of it being a weather balloon and a radar target misidentified was nonsense. Flock and Friedman agreed to meet near the site of the historic Roswell crash. The debate begins. I think after all these years of looking into this, that what really happened was that two saucers were winging their way along in New Mexico, ran into some kind of a problem, maybe a radar beam, maybe a lightning bolt, something like that, had a mid-air collision, and that most of the pieces of wreckage came down on the Brazel Ranch. All we can really say for sure is that Mac Brazel found something extremely unusual on that ranch. I think, frankly, that, that most of the testimony, even from people who have testified to the odd nature of some of this debris, points towards not something extraterrestrial, but towards Project Mogul, which was a very sensitive project. Project Mogul was a top-secret balloon program designed to detect Soviet nuclear activity. Flock believes that it was Mogul balloon debris that Air Force Major Jesse Marcel found at the crash site. He said that he tried to burn it, and it wouldn't burn. He said that it was flexible. Flexibility is a property necessary to, but not exclusive to, weather and surveillance balloons. So it still leaves you with the bodies. But where are the bodies? We have descriptions, yes, of bodies which could be alien bodies. That's a definite possibility, and I want to make that clear. I mean, I'm certainly not excluding that by any stretch of the imagination. But they could also be body, human bodies that have been put through some incredible ordeal. There were bodies there, strange bodies. All of these things clearly indicate we're dealing with a cover-up of something far more important, believe it or not, than the wreckage of a balloon. But you're assuming, you're assuming that the, the, the Army Air Force would not have moved swiftly and pretty decisively to, to keep the wraps on a project like Mogul, which stayed classified until well into the 80s, and, and which there's no question that there, was, there is a Roswell cover-up, or they, in fact, actually probably two Roswell cover-ups, one having to do with covering up Mogul, and the other having to do with the issue, whatever it was, involving bodies. those bodies. But I think that this case is important no matter what. I think that we've got something, even if it turns out to be that there are no extraterrestrials involved, 
But nonetheless, something very important happened there. Somebody died, aliens or otherwise, and the government has not come clean on it. There certainly was a cover-up. I think the cover-up's been kept to this day. From a ufological viewpoint, this has become, and I'm a little surprised because I was the original investigator, it's become the case, so to speak. Regardless of what the ultimate outcome turns out to be, it's important no matter what. It's an important issue of government accountability, and it may be an important issue of, of, the, of the future of the human race. The evidence is overwhelming that planet Earth is being visited by intelligently controlled extraterrestrial spacecraft. You know, I went out to the site, of, to, to the debris field, as it's come to be known, where, where Rancher Brazel found whatever it was he found. And uh, I thought, my God, what, what, must, what must it have been like to see this? Uh, and it's that same kind of feeling. I mean, the idea of holding something in your hand that might have come, you know, across millions if possibly even billions of miles of space together. Recently, the Pentagon released the findings of their comprehensive investigation into the Roswell incident. According to the Secretary of the Air Force, Dr. Sheila E. Widnall, the research, quote, did not locate or develop any information that the Roswell incident was a UFO event. The full report, with all 33 attachments, is available for public review. It's at the Pentagon in the library there, room 1A518.